Vampires are everywhere in the global world, from Europe to Latin America and Asia. Proof of the spreading of the vampire craze, Japan. The land of the rising sun is the land of the extremes. According to one of the most extreme branches of the vampire movement, we are approaching the final harvest. The moment when the ancient gods shall come back on earth in order to feed from the energy liberated by billions of human bodies scattered on the streets of our cities. Michel Belanger and Father Sebastian wish to stay away from these extreme visions. They picture themselves as moderate. Without giving in to the vampire Magadan prophecy, it is a fact that vampirism is growing without frontiers. The vampire tradition seems livelier than ever, which I personally find completely amazing. What could this movement become if it was taken over by ill-intentioned leaders? We are waited in a bar where the owner does strange things to his female clients. No one wants to tell us more. Lord Taiki owns territory, an eerie bazaar where Satanism meets pentagrams, goat heads and demonology. A truly scary place, a truly scary man. I opened this shop in 96. At the time there were not many like this shop in Japan. Occultism and Satanism are not very popular around here. People were wondering what was happening inside here. I love the occult. This secret world that people like me want to investigate. This is why I wanted to show it to the world. We have the right to exist. I also opened this shop to meet more people like me, more adept. I think there are people like us everywhere in Japan. The shop works like a magnet to attract more members of my own species. Since I opened the shop, there were many occasions to travel abroad, especially in the US and in New York City. Lord Taiki throws the Black Veils parties in Tokyo and Osaka, a tribute to the New York vampire clans where Japanese vampires can meet, exchange views, among other things. During these parties, 
Taiki performs huge black magic rituals for hundreds of devoted fans. Proof that dark cultures of the underground can bloom in any culture, anywhere on the planet. Every time I went to New York, I met people like-minded. Among them, I met Father Sebastian in his shop. He was making fans and contact lenses for the vampires. I am not fluent in English, but because of my fangs, we made a very good connection. He offered me an ink. The USA and Japan are quite distant. But we still find ways to work well together. During the 21st century, the vampire subculture is growing bigger and stronger than ever. The most bizarre rumors will keep spreading from the underworld. New tribes, new clans are forming. Somewhere beyond our sight, new species are getting ready for fame. I'm afraid humanism is not the next trend. Groups and individuals are trying at all costs to escape reality. A reality they cannot bear any longer. Don't ask me why. We all know the answer. as if our contemporaries needed to invoke the devil in order to ward off reality. Somewhere down there in the darkness of the underground, the frontier between fiction and reality has become very, very thin. <laughs>